Hello my dear friends friends in one of my videos i have talked about uh, astral traveling then one of my viewers gave a comment in which he said that uh, astral traveling has many dangers and even maharishi patanjali had warned about doing astral traveling now i wondered how can a such a um, spiritually evolved rishi of the level of maharishi patanjali can talk such rubbish about astral traveling which doesn't have any dangers at all so i knew it is just a gossip so i asked that person to give me the actual reference to the verse or sutra in which maharishi patanjali has said so as i knew the person went into silence now i am mentioning this because the same person also had requested me to make a video on lucid dreams so in this video i am talking about lucid dreams friends first of all what this word lucid means the dictionary meaning is something which is expressed clearly easy to understand and also it can be bright or luminous these are the meanings of the word lucid so that means anything which is which has clarity is lucid right now <clears throat> dreams are most misunderstood phenomena one of the most misunderstood subject right now what happens almost everyone during sleep leaves the physical body and through his or her astral body leaves the physical body and roams around and that is called astral traveling and the person in the astral body has all the faculties all the senses even much more uh, enhanced than our physical senses so the person wherever that person decides can go on earth and uh, meet any anyone the other person uh, one of his or her friend or relative which uh, to with which that person wants to meet that person may also be sleeping <clears throat> so can go and meet the astral of that person and discuss things can have actual experiences can visit any place right it is as as real as you uh, move around in the physical body right <clears throat> now uh, generally uh, uh, each one of us uh, roams around only on this earth can go to any place or meet any person but when you are advanced you can even go into the astral realms on any high dimension also and meet great saints great divine beings also <clears throat> now back in the body the subconscious mind which never goes out looks after some essential functions of the body also as you may be knowing uh, your subconscious mind is the storehouse of all your memories right so what happens accidentally at random the subconscious mind may open up one or more memory files so the memories related memories come to the surface also in addition to that the lower mind or emotional mind may have some memories from recent experiences or past experiences all those can come to the surface at random right now <clears throat> in the morning when after roaming around the astral body comes back to the physical body enters the physical body and you are awake now consciously people don't believe in astral traveling especially those of the western part of the world right right they they are <clears throat> conditioned that astral traveling is not possible right so what happens the conscious mind tries to rationalize all the things so what happens the real true experiences in the astral get mixed up with the memory files opened by the subconscious mind or the lower emotional mind and we you get a hodgepodge which you call a dream it can be 
very, you know, uh, dream, fearful dream, right? Nightmare. It can be any, any, any type of dream. All the real experiences are mixed up because your uh, uh, conscious mind is trying to rationalize things. It doesn't believe that it was possible for you during sleep to go out and have actual experiences, right? Now, what is a lucid dream? Lucid dream is that dream. It could be part of dream or the whole dream in which you are convinced that it seems that you actually went to a, that place or met that person. Things are so clear, colors and scenery is so clear that somehow you know that it, it was your real experience and not a dream. So that is a lucid dream, right? And with training, you can have ability to differentiate between uh, dreams and your actual astral experiences. That is a great thing. You can. But only if you don't keep fear, unnecessary rubbish about astral traveling. Almost everyone during sleep leaves the physical body and does astral traveling. And still that person may be talking about the dangers. That is really, really, you know, uh, amazes me. Now, I know through my own personal experiences in the astral, there is nothing dangerous. It is so marvelous. You feel free like a bird. Go anywhere. It is wonderful, my dear friends. But it is sad to say that many preachers these days, many so-called self-styled gurus, they can't do it. So they don't talk about it. But I can't expect that a great Rishi of the level of Patanjali can talk rubbish about astral traveling. No. So don't believe in gossip. Believe in those who can do it. And then you will also be able to do it. Lops and Rampa has written a written lot about it. Right? So I think uh, you now this uh, information about dreams, astral traveling, and uh, <clears throat> what is a lucid dream? It is clear. Thank you for watching.